First thing I like to do is disconnect the vent hose, the supply line, and then the connector. Connector has a safety latch on it, so I like to take a flathead screwdriver. I'm going to pop that off. And then you can push down on the tab and pull this out, hopefully. Don't get discouraged because road dirt gets in there, causes a lot of locking problems. There we go. The supply line has two little tabs right here, so you're going to squeeze them and then pull the plastic line towards the gas tank. Be careful of any gas that might come out. And now the vent line, kind of petrified on there, but a little flathead screwdriver. Give it a little coaxing to come off the steel line. Now I'm just going to loosen up the gas tank strap bolt. You don't have to take the nut all the way down because it's a hook. So you can loosen these straps up and then once you have the tank supported, you can just manipulate the hook out of the mounting hole. And that way you don't have to go through all the threads. This side has a shield. So we'll loosen up the bottom nut. And we'll have to take that nut all the way down and get the shield out of the way. Now with the gas tank supported, you can grab the strapping bolt and just lift up and pull it out of the mounting slot, see? To access the filler neck, there's a little shield here, a little 10 millimeter or a 5 8 socket. Take these two mounting screws out, pull the shield down, and you can access the filler neck hoses. So you have two hose clamps up here, and obviously with our lovely weather climate, I have to use tin snippers. I'm going to cut them and replace them. So you can now we just pull the vent hose off and the filler hose off. So we don't have much gas in the tank, which is helpful. And now I can uh, manipulate it around. I gotta just angle these hoses out through here because I cannot. Factory hoses are still on here and they're pointing upward and they're pretty petrified. So I'd just rather see if I can take these out with the tank. Now, hopefully I can just Clear it and pull it this way. Okay. Make sure the straps are clear. Now I'm going to clean up all this debris before I dismount this fuel pump because that fuel pump module, you don't want that to, all this mess to get into the gas tank. So this is a plastic ring, lock ring, and it's a plastic tank. They do make a tool that goes down over this and it has like little forks on it and you can turn it. I use a brass punch, something that with a too sharp of an edge and a small hammer and I'm just going to tap it around counterclockwise. Alternating back and forth. You see it's starting to move. I'll probably vacuum this one more time before I take it completely out. Now 
Now if you have a bucket nearby, that's ideal so that you can let this drain out in it. I'm just gonna tip it right in the gas tank. So now you can take this ring, set it aside. And like I did, I just tipped it up this way. and got the gas to go pouring in there. I'll lay this down there. And we gotta get the uh, screen out, because it came off. But look how black that is, holy moly. So I'm gonna take the plastic bag off the fuel level sensor. Make sure you take out the old rubber seal. See right there? It comes with a new one. So I'm gonna direct the level sensor in. Make sure that gets out of the way. Make sure your fuel level sensor wires out of the way. Now you might have to take the seal off and actually place it in first. Or if you can run your fingers around, make sure it seats, run it through. Now, once I get this down and down in place, you want to start this without it cross-threading. So taking it off was pretty easy with a brass punch, just spinning around. Because it's plastic on plastic and this is spring-loaded, as I was pushing it down and kept trying to tighten it by hand, it would go off a thread. And then you'd get down so far, it would pop up. So I went searching and I found this universal tool. And uh, I was pretty skeptical, but I gotta tell you, it worked pretty good. <laughs> so I just put an extension on it and that way I could put my weight on it. And I turned it down and it's down there, it's bottomed, it's tight. And it's level all the way around. You can see it's seated right here. And then I put my finger down there and I can feel that it's not skipped a tooth. And it's, it's ready to go. So now I've got to transfer this fuel line over to the module. And hopefully you can get in there, pull that hose off. Now this clip, you have to transfer over. It's pretty common for these to stay behind. I usually just pop them like this. They won't usually break. You can also use a pocket screwdriver if you have one. So once you take that off, you just bring it back over, put it in, plastic filler, and then snap it in. So now I've got it back up on my Transmission stand. Sorry, I'm going to start to slide it underneath the car. So I have to jack it up to a certain height. Then I got to guide the fuel pillow neck hoses through the spring over there. All right, so I've got it up to a good height. Now I've got to get these filler neck hoses through the cutout in the frame. So the tank is fairly empty, thank goodness. I've got to hold it up and then jack it up at the same time. Now I'm going to tighten up the mounting bolts, seat it in place, everything looks good. Pretty much got no movement here. Feels pretty tight. Okay, now I'm going to put this shield on. So now I'm gonna take a little screwdriver and I'm gonna pop this out, hopefully. There we go. Now I'm gonna put it in the actual line. I'm just gonna help move this along put the little bit of lubricant on that. All right, 
So last step is we're going to connect the fuel pump connector. And it looks like someone already from the factory. Let's make sure that lock is open until it clicks. There we go. And then put the lock in. Bingo. Okay, last but not least, we're going to put new hose clamps on the filler neck. Now I'm going to put the uh, filler neck back in so that I have something firm to push the hoses on. Gas cap back on. I'm going to put the what's left to the shield back up. Might as well try to protect those hoses. There's just two little mounting screws right here. 